hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in the last video tutorial we were able to add the user details to the database okay so if you remember we were able to push the user details okay this user details into the database okay so this time we want to find a way to retrieve the data and i think it's something similar that we've done before when we upload uh, we added the details of the food into the database and then we were able to fetch this food details. so it's just the same uh, the same approach but then with a little twist okay but before we do that i want us to um check something on the sign in page so when i came back to um, test the app i realized that the sign in page is having um, a problem so when i try to log in here with the password with the correct password and then i try to sign in you can see that it's not working it will keep on loading and it will never work so when you check the the back home, so you realize that um there's a, an error here saying that there's a closure call with mismatch arguments okay function user dot uh, user model dot authenticate so you can see that we have um um four positional argument and then one optional argument and we were only passing in email and then password which is only two arguments when we are trying to sign in the reason is on the sign up page we pass in four arguments so when you go to the sign up page here we pass in four arguments let me show you from the um where is it? we pass in four arguments okay and then the optional argument which is the sign up okay so in all five arguments but here when we are trying to sign sign in we only pass in two so when i go here in the sign in here i pass in only email and password and when we go into the authenticate we are using the authenticate method for both the sign in and then the sign up so we are trying to use the same method for this so to fix this error i'm just going to delete this part here and when i delete that and then um let me just close this and then when i come here you can see that this error is now coming okay i can now go ahead and then uh, comment this one and also there was supposed to be a line of code here it was this way i think in the video in the last video it was there i don't know i deleted it by mistake which was this okay so this was the code that was there so i'm commenting this for now okay so you can see that now the errors are gone and when i go back and then try to log in it should work this will fix the error so now it's working so i'll refresh or reload the whole page and it will take me back to the sign in page but then now our um, sign up is having an error we can't push the user data into the database because we've commented the code now to fix this you can see in the curly bracket here this curly bracket um, shows that this um, um, argument is optional okay so we are going to make uh, this map here as an optional argument and then when we are signing up we can just pass in that map as an optional argument okay so i can go ahead and you add map string dynamic here and then i can say user info so to do that and then now I, when i come here i can uncomment this code and it doesn't throw an error because we have the user info passed in and then i can delete this code okay so we don't have any error but yet we don't we haven't fixed the error so when i go into the sign up page i want to remove the username and then the user type from there and then create a map here so i'll paste the code that i i deleted from the other side and then on comment now when i do that you can see that we now want to pass this particular information as an argument to the authenticate method and then we can use it but because it's an optional argument it doesn't affect the sign in page okay but here i think it starts with an underscore here to with an underscore and here we have to um, pass in customer for now and you can see that we have a user type here because i'm trying to make the app have the admin and then the user um app as one but then you have to you don't have to do this in real life okay you don't have to do this in real life because in real life you don't have to make your admin app and then the user app as one okay like we have uber uber app we have the uber driver we have the uber customer okay so you don't have to add them as one so now i'll go ahead and then um let's see um i think yeah so now i have this now i can pass it here so with this one it's a it's a name optional argument so i can go here and then use user info here user info here um i think user info here and then i pass in the user info here 
so with this one here now when i save and then i try to sign up it should work okay so i come here and i say um raining because it's raining here as a username and then raining <laughs> at gmail.com here and then i make the password as raining here okay i'll make it that way and then i sign up it should work and take me to the home page now it takes me to the home page let's check the database and then it comes here okay and i check you can see that now the details are added so i think i'll end the video here i wanted to add the user details i mean retrieve the user details but then because it's raining i don't i think you maybe you may not hear me but then if i should play the video and then it, i can hear my voice very well then i will continue the video okay so thank you guys for watching and then please like and share with your friends okay again more um subscribers thank you